See that, guys? See that? Bought a brand new 17 year old pressure washer yesterday. It retails for $650, $700. $700. But anyway, we're making breakfast. See that? See that? You guys never seen eggs like the, like the way we make these eggs, guys. So I'm gonna pause this video and get to rolling. Don't pay attention to that video, guys, because two seconds and YouTube uh, blocks it because somebody else's video is in my video. So, but anyway, we're gonna get going. Hodge twins, guys, playing in the background. That's all oil in that bowl. They're talking about the all the Walmart shutting down for these people stealing. Who think, oh, I'm only stealing from a corporation. It doesn't hurt anybody. You're stealing from the people that work there. You don't, because you're too simple to understand how the system works and it's how it's designed. So anyway, we're not we're not going to talk about that. Though. We're going to talk about these eggs. We going to talk about the eggs. Bye bye. Let me see the back of your phone. Oh, it's good in that case. Anyway, uh, you got her butter sizzling, butter rising. You got her eggs beat. Better not call it, please, y'all. I beat the eggs. <laughs> <laughs> and we're getting ready to throw our steak on. See what we pay for them steaks? And... No cow included. Anyway. Alright, beat the eggs. Pausing it again. I'm gonna throw this stuff on, guys, and I gotta go drop one. So give me a minute. All right, guys. When I I do is I use a little bit of butter, like a half of a teaspoon, real butter. Get it searing on one side, then I flip it immediately. I lock in, I lock in uh, that moisture. Yeah, that's what we do. So we got that. We got five eggs. This is going to be between me and my brother. And we have fruit. And I'll show you how my brother makes it, our fruit cups here in a few. So when I cook eggs, I take some olive oil and I, I rub it around the whole container. And I throw them in the microwave. But, well, let me, let me put the cheese in first, guys. Let me go with the cheese. Let's see, where's that packaged cheese at? That 100% top tier government cheese. Oh, actually, we use multiple cheeses. Today we're gonna have Munster. Let's see. Sorry, sorry. You know, I'm not a good camera person. Head. Do I put that Munster back in there? See, guys, look at that's healthy. See, we got healthy in here. Crammed with vitamin H, guys. Vitamin health. You know, look at all them eggs. Uh, Shout out to my homie over there at the egg shop. All right, we got that sizzling. So, see guys, I'm, I'm gonna throw this in there. I'm just gonna let you know that's before I pause it because I don't have a recording equipment and all that stuff. So I'm doing this kind of on a whim. So I'm pausing it yet. All right, guys. See, so that's some cheese in there. So we start with cheese in there. Do a little storage. Duramax is Duramax is the engine. The Allison is the transmission. Hodge twin. When you hit Hodge heads, guys, that's eggs in a microwave. Now let me let me just start tell, say something. Let me get just get this in. Me and my brother came here to North Carolina, guys, with nothing. We had nothing. We had a old uh, 2004 F-150. It's our chariot. Was pulled over, guys, before we even left. Didn't have a driver's license. Tire blow out. Blow tire blows out. Blows out blowouts. So we have this camper that we bought. It's a little messy, guys, but it's because we got everything stored in here. A little telescope there. And it's actually a good sized camper, guys. It has this room, air conditioning, big screen TV. 
<laughs> we, guys, we have two big screens. <laughs> How many do you have in your house? <laughs> we, and uh, we earned this, guys. We worked for this and we got it. The whole COVID thing, when that, all that was happening, guys, we knew what was happening before it even happened. Why? Because for multiple reasons, but I can't really go into detail right now. It had destroyed this video, which is really about cooking, how we cook our breakfast. But a long story short, guys, we're blessed, and we're blessed because we fear God first. Bible says, fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, guys. Bible also says, fools despise knowledge. That's right. and, and the Bible also says... The wise man is the one that seeks reproof, guys, meaning correction. correction. That's right. So, very, very important, guys. We bear, we carry the cross. We carry it in our hearts. We had a retired state trooper talking to us yesterday in tears about his heroin addict son. That's right. A he complete, lost everything. Lost a, properties a, and everything for his son. A complete stranger confessing to us, guys, because when you have God in your heart and you put that first and foremost... People and they don't even realize it, but they sense that in your in your spirit, and they feel like you're pure that you that they can say stuff to you and they and you won't be judged. Nobody can judge anybody. Anybody who judges is judged already, guys. So all we could do is listen to the people, guys, to know what they have to say and un try to understand their situation. And that that goes for every situation. But anyway, listen. You hear that? No, not that over there. Not Dave Palumbo talking and uh, about Big Rami, but this big chunk of prime steak right there. So anyway, our eggs are in there. We're not gonna really cook them yet. We're just gonna get them warmed up in 30 second bursts, guys. That's how we cook our eggs around in this house. And uh, what the fork are you looking at? And that was a that was a that was a joke. There's another room back there, guys. Can't go in there. There's nuclear uh, hazardous waste back there. That's why we were able to get such a good deal on this camper. <laughs> There's nuclear contaminants back there, guys. See how good our wall is? Can't even see through it. <laughs> oh, the bathroom, guys. Has a shower and stuff. But we got a shower where, where, where we stay. So we're going we're gonna to do that back wall with vinyl siding. And uh, get that finished up. This camper, this whole back of this camper was completely collapsed in the back. We rebuilt all of this. We did the floors. Okay, the floors, guys. We still got to go back further, but we have to work too, guys. So we actually work like with our hands, you know. We uh, work hard with our hands. And uh, yeah, let me put this steak, guys. I don't want it to be a miss. Steak. Get it? <laughs> Alright, you got it. Anyway, I'll, I'll finish uh, recording when I'm done. I gotta, I gotta run to the bathroom, guys. Bye-bye. Alright, guys. This is the steak. So, well, me and my brother usually split a steak in the morning. But I'm gonna start eating more beef, guys, and more hard protein because I'm trying to get myself back in shape again. And it's calories in, calories out, guys. I don't care what anybody tells you. It's calories in versus calories out. What you burn, what you eat, and what you burn is the extra. What you don't consume. And uh, rest, guys, plays a lot in it. How much water you're consuming plays a lot in it. Whether you're taking vitamins or not, guys, all of it comes into play. Fat is not necessarily your enemy, guys. Sugar is your enemy. I don't care what anybody tells you. Sugar is your enemy. It is a fuel for very bad processes in your body. So we minimize our sugar, guys. We consume a lot of... Uh, Cancer thrives on the cells with sugar. What's that, Josh? Cancer thrives on it does. cells with sugar. It does. You guys watch, watch how these eggs come out. Watch this. You guys are going to see some magic. Oh, I only did one thing different today, and it might backfire. I forgot to rub oil around in the uh, bottom of the bowl. We only use olive oil, guys. We only use real butter. And, uh, yep. Let me show you guys where we stay at real quick while that's cooking. Let me just give you guys an idea. 
fire hydrant, guys, in case it gets too hot in there. There's a fire. But this is our this is our camp spot, guys. This is our camper. No, it's not the prettiest thing. But I'm gonna we're gonna get it painted. Well, we're gonna paint it, obviously. We got pet squirrels, guys. See that squirrel? He's waiting for food. There's one truck, guys. There's the Dodge. And if we and if that don't work, guys, we take the bike. There's our squirrel. See him? What are you doing? You're waiting for food, ain't you, bud? So, I'm gonna grab some food and throw the, give it out to the squirrels, guys. Hear that nature? This is where we stay, guys. 12.50 a month. And uh, in the on season, which is now, this is the on season. And uh, we work hard, guys. Uh, we work our regular day job and we work on weekends sometimes on doing side work. But yeah. Let me stir the steak around. Let me check this, check it, check it, check it, check it, our eggs. See them fluffing up, guys? See that? Now watch, watch this. Dude, I need to get one of those things where I can wear my phone, bro. You know, so we can record, so we can record like this. This is a Gal. What does it draw? Is it a S? A Note. No twenty Ultra Hub. Huh? No twenty Ultra Hub, guys. It's called. It's a No twenty Ultra Hub, and that's a No eight there, guys. And this thing just blows that No eight out of the water. <laughs> it does. <laughs> so hold on, guys. Let me get some Swiss on this. The Swiss cheese. Look it. See, the, see what the government does, guys? They take chunks out of your... They take, they punch holes through your cheese so you, you think you're getting more. They kind of do that. The tax, the tax man does the same thing. The same thing, y'all. All right. So we put that back in there. And we're not ready to nuke that yet. Oh, yeah, we're ready to nuke it. 30 seconds. Let's check our steak, guys. We're going to cut it in half. Hopefully it's not a mistake. <laughs> okay, we got it. So how much beef you want? Half? No, a little less. Alright, so I'm gonna cut this guy, so I gotta put this phone down. Put the phone down. Guys, I put the phone down, but I'm still here. Come to the light, Carolyn! Alright, you guys don't know nothing about that. That was, Pol that was Polter Heist. Alright, our steak is done. You guys, not too rare. A little rare, but not too rare. See that? that? That's perfect. Now, let me show you these eggs. Uh, let me show you these damn eggs, y'all. Look at that, guys. That's official. So, what I do... Sometimes we have vegetables in the morning, too, guys. We cut them like this. Whoops, sorry. Cut them eggs. Right true to middle. Just like that. Bam. Put that little guy there. Put that little guy there. See that guys? That's cheese coming out of the uh. That's cheese coming out of the uh. Mm. Let's see here. Are we done? Are we done? We look pretty done. There's cheese in there and those eggs, guys, and that increases the fluffiness. On the fluffiness rating of 0 to 10, we give it a 6. And, uh, what's your fluffy, fluffiness rating, Sailor? <laughs> See, I'm stirring it again. Getting the goodness out of the pan. You guys call that burnt stuff? I call it goodness. Wholesome goodness. Because it's just butter. It's just brown butter and, uh, Beef, beefy and beefiness guys it's called the beefiness so that's our breakfast i'm gonna pause it once more. Two people for each other. all right guys this is the finished product Good. it's eggs with cheese in them steak breakfast